Sugar Substitute, Wikipedia Article Audio A sugar substitute is a food additive that provides a sweet taste like that of sugar while containing significantly less food energy. Some sugar substitutes are produced by nature, and others produced synthetically. Those that are not produced by nature are, in general, called artificial sweeteners. In 2017, sucralose was the most common sugar substitute used in manufacturing of foods and beverages, having 30% of the global market projected to become $2.8 billion in collective value by 2021. When sweeteners are provided for restaurant customers to add to beverages such as tea and coffee, they are often available in paper packets that can be torn and emptied. In North America, the colors are typically white for sucrose, blue for aspartame, pink for saccharin, yellow for sucralose or cyclamate, tan for turbinado, orange for monk fruit extract, and green for stevia. Types Acceptable daily intake levels A class of sugar substitutes is known as high-intensity sweeteners. These are compounds with many times the sweetness of sucrose, common table sugar. As a result, much less sweetener is required and energy contribution is often negligible. The sensation of sweetness caused by these compounds is sometimes notably different from sucrose, so they are often used in complex mixtures that achieve the most natural sweet sensation. If the sucrose that is replaced has contributed to the texture of the product, then a bulking agent is often also needed. This may be seen in soft drinks or sweet teas that are labeled as diet or light that contain artificial sweeteners and often have notably different mouth feel, or in table sugar replacements that mix maltodextrins with an intense sweetener to achieve satisfactory texture sensation. In the United States, six high-intensity sugar substitutes have been approved for use, aspartame, sucralose, neodym, acesulfame, potassium, saccharin, and advantum. Food additives must be approved by the FDA, and sweeteners must be proven as safe via submission by a manufacturer of a GRASS document. The conclusions about GRASS are based on a detailed review of a large body of information, including rigorous toxicological and clinical studies. GRASS notices exist for two plant-based, high-intensity sweeteners, stevial glycosides obtained from stevia leaves and extracts from Sarisha grashvenorii, also called luohanguo or monk fruit. Cyclamates are used outside the United States, but are prohibited from manufacturing as a sweetener within the United States. The majority of sugar substitutes approved for food use are artificially synthesized compounds. However, some bulk plant-derived sugar substitutes are known, including sorbitol, xylitol and lactitol. As it is not commercially viable to extract these products from fruits and vegetables, they are produced by catalytic hydrogenation of the appropriate reducing sugar. For example, xylose is converted to xylitol, lactose to lactitol, and glucose to sorbitol. Sorbitol, xylitol, and lactitol are examples of sugar alcohols. These are in general, less sweet than sucrose but have similar bulk properties and can be used in a wide range of food products. Sometimes the sweetness profile is fine-tuned by mixing with high-intensity sweeteners. Use In the United States, the FDA provides guidance for manufacturers and consumers about the daily limits for consuming high-intensity sweeteners a measure called acceptable daily intake. During their pre-market review for all of the high-intensity sweeteners approved as food additives, 
FDA established an ADI defined as an amount in milligrams per kilogram of body weight per day, indicating that a high-intensity sweetener does not cause safety concerns if estimated daily intakes are lower than the ADI. FDA states, an ADI is the amount of a substance that is considered safe to consume each day over the course of a person's lifetime. For stevia, an ADI was not derived by the FDA, but by the Joint Food and Agricultural Organization slash World Health Organization Expert Committee on Food Additives, whereas an ADI has not been determined for monk fruit. FDA also published estimates of sweetness intensity, called a multiplier of sweetness intensity as compared to table sugar. For the sweeteners approved as food additives, the addis in milligrams per kilogram of body weight per day are Dental care Stevia has an ADI of 4 and a MSI of 200 to 400, where for monk fruit, no ADI has been determined and the MSI is 250 to 400. Sugar substitutes are used instead of sugar for a number of reasons, including the world's most commonly used artificial sweetener, sucralose is a chlorinated sugar that is about 600 times as sweet as sugar. It is produced from sucrose when three chlorine atoms replace three hydroxyl groups. It is used in beverages, frozen desserts, chewing gum, baked goods, and other foods. Unlike other artificial sweeteners, it is stable when heated and can therefore be used in baked and fried goods. Discovered in 1976, the FDA approved sucralose for use in 1998. Glucose Metabolism Most of the controversy surrounding Splenda, a sucralose sweetener, is focused not on safety but on its marketing. It has been marketed with the slogan, Splenda is made from sugar, so it tastes like sugar. Sucralose is prepared from either of two sugars, sucrose or raffinose. With either base sugar, processing replaces three oxygen-hydrogen groups in the sugar molecule with three chlorine atoms. Cost the Truth About Splenda website was created in 2005 by the Sugar Association, an organization representing sugar beet and sugar cane farmers in the United States, to provide its view of sucralose. In December 2004, five separate false advertising claims were filed by the Sugar Association against Splenda manufacturers Mary Sant and McNeil Nutritionals for claims made about Splenda related to the slogan, made from sugar, so it tastes like sugar. French courts ordered the slogan to no longer be used in France, while in the US the case came to an undisclosed settlement during the trial. Sugar Substitutes There are few safety concerns pertaining to sucralose and the way sucralose is metabolized suggests a reduced risk of toxicity. For example, sucralose is extremely insoluble in fat and, thus, does not accumulate in fatty tissues, sucralose also does not break down and will dechlorinate only under conditions that are not found during regular digestion. Only about 15% of sucralose is absorbed by the body and most of it passes out of the body unchanged. Aspartame was discovered in 1965 by James M. Schlatter at the G.D. Searle Company. He was working on an anti-ulcer drug and accidentally spilled some aspartame on his hand. When he licked his finger, he noticed that it had a sweet taste. Tarana Teraz Garin oversaw the development of aspartame as an artificial sweetener. It is an odorless, white crystalline powder that is derived from the two amino acids aspartic acid and phenylalanine. It is about 200 times as sweet as sugar and can be used as a tabletop sweetener or in frozen desserts, gelatins, beverages, and chewing gum.
when cooked or stored at high temperatures, aspartame breaks down into its constituent amino acids. This makes aspartame undesirable as a baking sweetener. It is more stable in somewhat acidic conditions, such as in soft drinks. Though it does not have a bitter aftertaste like saccharin, it may not taste exactly like sugar. When eaten, aspartame is metabolized into its original amino acids. Because it is so intensely sweet, relatively little of it is needed to sweeten a food product, and is thus useful for reducing the number of calories in a product. Sucralose the safety of aspartame has been studied extensively since its discovery with research that includes animal studies, clinical and epidemiological research, and post-marketing surveillance, with aspartame being one of the most rigorously tested food ingredients to date. Aspartame has been subject to multiple claims against its safety including supposed links to cancer as well as complaints of neurological or psychiatric side effects. Multiple peer-reviewed comprehensive review articles and independent reviews by governmental regulatory bodies have analyzed the published research on the safety of aspartame and have found aspartame is safe for consumption at current levels. Aspartame has been deemed safe for human consumption by over 100 regulatory agencies in their respective countries, including the UK Food Standards Agency, the European Food Safety Authority and Canada's Health Canada. In the United States, the Food and Drug Administration banned the sale of cyclamate in 1969 after lab tests in rats involving a 10-colon-1 mixture of cyclamate and saccharin caused bladder cancer. This information, however, is regarded as weak evidence of carcinogenic activity, and cyclamate remains in common use in many parts of the world, including the European Union and Russia. Apart from sugar of lead, saccharin was the first artificial sweetener and was originally synthesized in 1879 by Remsen and Falberg. Its sweet taste was discovered by accident. It had been created in an experiment with toluene derivatives. A process for the creation of saccharin from thalic anhydride was developed in 1950, and, currently, Saccharin is created by this process as well as the original process by which it was discovered. It is 300 to 500 times as sweet as sugar and is often used to improve the taste of toothpastes, dietary foods, and dietary beverages. The bitter aftertaste of saccharin is often minimized by blending it with other sweeteners. Fear about saccharin increased when a 1960 study showed that high levels of saccharin may cause bladder cancer in laboratory rats. In 1977, Canada banned saccharin due to the animal research. In the United States, the FDA considered banning saccharin in 1977, but Congress stepped in and placed a moratorium on such a ban. The moratorium required a warning label and also mandated further study of saccharin safety. Subsequent to this, it was discovered that saccharin causes cancer in male rats by a mechanism not found in humans. At high doses, saccharin causes a precipitate to form in rat urine. This precipitate damages the cells lining the bladder and a tumor forms when the cells regenerate. According to the International Agency for Research on Cancer, part of the World Health Organization, saccharin and its salts was downgraded from Group 2b, possibly carcinogenic to humans, to Group 3, not classifiable as to carcinogenicity to humans, despite sufficient evidence of carcinogenicity to animals because it is carcinogenic by a non-DNA reactive mechanism that is not relevant to humans because of critical interspecies differences in urine composition. Aspartame In 2001, 
the United States repealed the warning label requirement, while the threat of an FDA ban had already been lifted in 1991. Most other countries also permit saccharin, but restrict the levels of use, while other countries have outright banned it. Cyclamate the EPA has officially removed saccharin and its salts from their list of hazardous constituents and commercial chemical products. In a December 14, 2010 release, the EPA stated that saccharin is no longer considered a potential hazard to human health. Acesulfame potassium, ADI-15, MSI-200, Advantum, ADI 32.8, MSI 20,000, Aspartame, ADI 50, MSI 200, Neodym, ADI 0.3, MSI 7000 to 13,000, Saccharin, ADI 15, MSI 200 to 700, Sucralose, ADI 5, MSI 600 Stevia has been widely used as a natural sweetener in South America for centuries and in Japan since 1970. It has zero glycemic index and zero calories, and it is becoming popular in many other countries. In 1987, the FDA issued a ban on Stevia because it had not been approved as a food additive although it continued to be available as a dietary supplement. After being provided with sufficient scientific data regarding side effects of using stevia as a sweetener from companies such as Cargill and Coca-Cola, the FDA gave a no-objection approval for generally recognized as safe status in December 2008 to Truvia, a blend of rebodyacide A and erythritol, as well as pure via both of which use rebodyacide A derived from the stevia plant. In Australia, the brand Vitarium uses Natvia, a natural stevia sweetener, in a range of sugar-free children's milk mixes. Acesulfame potassium is 200 times sweeter than sucrose, as sweet as aspartame, about two-thirds as sweet as saccharin, and one-third as sweet as sucralose. Like saccharin, it has a slightly bitter aftertaste, especially at high concentrations. Kraft Foods has patented the use of sodium ferrolate to mask acesulfame's aftertaste. Acesulfame potassium is often blended with other sweeteners, which give a more sucrose-like taste, whereby each sweetener masks the other's aftertaste and also exhibits a synergistic effect in which the blend is sweeter than its components. Unlike aspartame, acesulfame potassium is stable under heat, even under moderately acidic or basic conditions, allowing it to be used as a food additive in baking or in products that require a long shelf life. In carbonated drinks, it is almost always used in conjunction with another sweetener, such as aspartame or sucralose. It is also used as a sweetener in protein shakes and pharmaceutical products, especially chewable and liquid medications, where it can make the active ingredients more palatable. Saccharin Stevia Acesulfame potassium Lead acetate Lead acetate is a toxic artificial sugar substitute made from lead that is of historical interest because of its widespread use in the past, such as by ancient Romans. The use of lead acetate as a sweetener eventually produced lead poisoning in any individual ingesting it habitually. Lead acetate was abandoned as a food additive throughout most of the world after the high toxicity of lead compounds became apparent. Magrocytes, extracted from monk fruit and commonly called luohanguo, are recognized as safe for human consumption and are used in some commercial products in the United States. As of 2017, it is not a permitted sweetener in the European Union 
although it is allowed as a natural flavor at concentrations where it does not function as a sweetener. In 2017, a Chinese company requested a scientific review of its Magrocide product by the European Food Safety Authority. Some products incorporating it are Nestle S. Milo in Asia and certain Kellogg cereals in the United States. It is also the basis of McNeil Nutritionals S. Tabletop Sweetener Neck Dress in the United States and Norbu Sweetener in Australia. The sweetnesses and energy densities are in comparison to those of sucrose. Numerous reviews have concluded that outcomes from weight gain and non-nutritive sweetener usage remain inconsistent and inconclusive. A 2010 review of epidemiological studies concluded there is a possible association between consumption of artificially sweetened beverages and weight gain in children, but the quality of the studies was weak and no clear cause and effect relationship could be determined. A 2016 review reported findings with no significant association between body weight and non-nutritive sweetener consumption, while a 2017 review did not find evidence supporting the use of non-nutritive sweeteners for weight loss. A 2015 review found that there is no evidence that non-caloric sweeteners cause metabolic disorders in humans. A 2015 review of the literature found that there was no clear evidence for a link between the use of artificial sweeteners and an increased risk of cancer. A 2017 review found that although there are reports of a couple of studies signifying increased risks of cancer through the use of sugar substitutes, a vast majority of studies yielded similar results to that of 2015. An extensive array of studies, studying varying cancer types such as lymphomas, hematological malignancies, urinary tract, bladder, pancreatic, biliary tract, and breast cancer displayed no significant association between this disease and artificial sweeteners. Magrocytes Sugar alcohols, or polyols, are sweetening and bulking ingredients used in manufacturing of foods and beverages. As a sugar substitute, they supply less calories than sugar, are converted to glucose slowly, and do not spike increases in blood glucose. Eating natural sugars like glucose and sucrose instead of a sugar substitute can have negative health effects. The consumption of added sugars has been positively associated with multiple measures known to increase cardiovascular disease risk amongst adolescents as well as adults. The calories contained in sugar-sweetened beverages contribute to increases in body weight and body fat, and replacement of sugar by artificial sweeteners reduces weight. Obesity contributes to diabetes and cardiovascular disease. Glucose has a high glycemic index, sucrose medium, and fructose low. There is evidence that sugar-sweetened beverages may increase the risk of metabolic syndrome and type 2 diabetes not only through obesity but also by increasing dietary glycemic load, leading to insulin resistance, beta cell dysfunction, and inflammation, according to a 2010 meta-analysis. There is convincing evidence from human intervention studies, epidemiological studies, animal studies, and experimental studies, for an association between the amount and frequency of free sugars intake and dental caries while other sugar consumption is normally associated with a lower rate of dental caries, according to the World Health Organization. Sweetness Plant-derived sugar substitutes Manufactured sugar substitutes A 2013 review found that there is insufficient evidence to suggest that replacing dietary sugar with non-caloric sweeteners alone is beneficial for energy balance, weight loss, or diabetes risk factors. 
The review found that restricting calories is more important than avoidance of sugar for weight management, and that non-caloric sweeteners may be useful for managing blood sugar in people with diabetes. Health Effects Weight Gain Metabolic Disorder Cancer Sugar Alcohols Comparison to Sugar Notes